Thank you so much. Welcome to the Manufactured Home Show, everybody. Thanks, Getty. Uh, thank you for joining us today. It's, uh, what day is it? Wednesday, April the 27th, 2011. Manufactured Home Show Live with me, Mike. Today is an historic day because Obama, President Obama, Feeling the pressure, went ahead and issued his uh, birth certificate. So that's dominating the headline news today. Before we get to that, let's give our daily plug for our infinitely wonderful sponsor, ManufacturedHomeMart.com, the premier online store for manufactured housing. Let's get right to it. So uh, Obama, you know, it, he, he basically is saying enough of the nonsense. So here you go. Let's play a little bit. I started this 30 seconds in. I think this is the president speaking yesterday. I'll just let it go for a little bit. I've been puzzled at the degree to which this thing just kept on going. Uh, we've had every official in Hawaii, Democrat and Republican, every news outlet that has investigated this, confirm that, yes, in fact, I was born in Hawaii, August 4th, 1961, in Kapilani Hospital. And so I just want to make a, a larger point here. Please. We've got some enormous challenges out there. There are a lot of folks out there who are still looking for work. Everybody is still suffering under high gas prices. We're going to have to make a series of very difficult decisions about how we invest in our future, but also get a hold of our deficit and our debt. How do we do that in a balanced way? And I'm confident that the American people and America's political leaders can Okay, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I probably let it go a little bit too long. But anyway, the article is good in USA Today. And um, basically, we all know this issue was resolved. At least you should know. The issue was resolved in 2008, which... It does say that in this article as well. But for whatever reason, Donald Trump, uh, I got to give him credit I at, least, at least for stirring it up enough to make the president, you know, produce his own birth certificate. So he did. Hopefully that's going to be over. Um, let's, go, let's go with more headline news this morning. You know, every single one of the Internet, uh, MSNBC, all of them, front headline news is the Obama thing. So I'll steer away from that, and I want to go speedily through today's webcast. <coughs> sort of not feeling well this morning. Now, let me turn my attention to CNN. I was actually watching CNN last night, and I am a fan of Anderson Cooper, but I'm not a big fan of this little editorial thing that they do because, like, I, I don't know. I just don't like it. So here's Anderson Cooper giving it to Levi Johnston. Levi Johnston is coming. <laughs> it is ridiculous. And it's made Anderson Cooper's ridiculous. But I think it's ridiculous what Anderson Cooper is doing. This is not news reporting. This is this is some, something that I should be doing, is lampooning uh, Mr. Johnston. This is not for Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper is the face of CNN. He needs to be reporting real news. Not sort of lamp, you know, given Levi Jost in the business. But here it is, really fast. That's right. Tequila freaking tequila. <laughs> so thank goodness Levi has taken pen to paper. Because if there's one thing that has always struck me as a gaping chasm in American literature, it's the musings of someone who impregnated the teenage daughter of a failed vice presidential candidate. <laughs> Levi's publisher has announced the book's title. Wait for it. Deer in the Headlights, My Life in Sarah Palin's Crosshairs. I got one word for that. Freaking genius. All right. Those two words. This photo is attached to the press release, which yeah, I think is very outdoorsy for a writer, a, kind of a modern Thoreau, if you will. In the press release, Levi says, and I quote, I want to tell the truth about my close relationship with the Palins, my sense of Sarah, and my perplexing fall from grace. Uh, here's where it really gets perplexing going. Perplexing fall from grace. Hmm. Can Levi's so trajectory sad. really be described as a fall from grace? I've always thought of it as more of an unfortunate plummet out of obscurity. 
for the sake of argument, and for the sake of the poor Simon and Schuster employee who went into publishing dreaming of working with Jonathan Franzen and ended up writing a press release for Levi Johnson, let's just assume that he did indeed fall from grace. Was it really uh, all that perplexing? Okay. All right. I mean, it's not like he posed naked on the cover. All of right, all right, Anderson. Anyway, you get the idea. Anderson Cooper really giving him the business, but I don't think I don't think it's appropriate for Anderson Cooper to be doing that. Report the news, Anderson. Leave the opinions to the real pros like me <laughs> here on the Manufactured Home Show Live, by the way, which there's never a teleprompter. There's never a script. It's all off the cuff. Okay, so I do have a couple of notes, but all I write on here is the topic matter. So, for instance, segue, Dr. Drew, I watch. I, I, I like to flip between CNN, HLN, what's the other one? Uh, Fox, I can only tolerate so much Fox News because, I mean, it's very far to the right. But then again, CNN gets kind of lefty, so I try to balance it out. Anyway, sorry. Dr. Drew, two things about his show last night. He had two segments that I saw. The one was about female teachers who abuse young men, meaning they engage in sexual relations with them. And now these... <clears throat> these young men are damaged. And they had a kid on there last night, and he wasn't very convincing. I mean, he was saying all the words, but if you sort of just look at his body language and, you know, he's on a webcam like this, and it was hard to get a real sense that, ab about this particular child. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it is right for female teachers to get sexually involved with their minor students. I do not think that's right. I'm not condoning that in any way. But it is it is very interesting, you know, because of the way our society is set up, the way this is viewed in our country. And so um, without, getting too deep, without getting too deep into it, um, oh, let me let me quickly let me quickly skip over to this funny this funny anecdote from the commercials there. Christianmingle.com. I don't think that that's necessary. We already have enough of these type of things, but now it's Christianmingle.com. Not a paid advertiser. I just I, I thought that was funny. You've got eHarmonyMatch.com. You've got all those things, and uh, I, I wrote down this commercial for. For those guys was hysterical. I don't know if that's really going to fly. It's got to be the most boring <laughs> dating website known to man. Anyway, okay, so the Dr. Drew, I'm like, you know, back in my day, the, the, the kids probably would love to get with the teacher. But now is a different type of society, okay? Again, not condoning. The next segment for Dr. Drew went on, and now he's getting, let's see. Oh, he's getting into prescription drug use, which I really, really did want to talk about. And he had uh, he had a pretty decent panel on there, which Robert Shapiro was on there. And I guess he lost his son uh, to a drug overdose. So he, he really was going off about this whole thing, particularly about the prescription drug. Now... Um, Everybody knows this is becoming an epidemic type of deal in the United States. And um, I, th I think it's just up to us people. It, it's, it's a very difficult situation. And I'm not sure how we're going to get a handle on it. But the one guy on the panel was suggesting that we had a system that, you know, basically is a computerized system that's watching over what doctors are prescribing. There is a, there is a huge black market. So I don't think it's going to happen. It's up to every adult person to make responsible decisions. That's all it comes down to. But um, it is way, way, way too easy with the prescription drugs. That is, that is the new drug of the new millennium, of the new era, of right here and now, prescription drugs. Adults and kids, we need to check ourselves right now. It's a very, very dangerous type of thing. So again, props to Dr. Drew for bringing this to light, but it, it's funny, two times in his segment, in the first and the, I'm sorry, two times in his show, in the first segment and the second segment, Dr. Drew stops everything. <laughs> he goes, he says to the camera, which he's talking to the audience, he's, don't do this, don't you, don't you get any ideas, uh, pedophiles, and then it, the other one, 
don't get any ideas, you pill sellers. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. You're on national television, man. You're on to millions of people. So they are going to think whatever. You can't look into the camera and tell them not to do it. It's not going to work, Dr. Drew. <laughs> I thought that was hysterical. He did it in both segments. It cracked me up. Sorry. I struggled through that segment of my show with the Dr. Drew. I'm sorry. Like I say, it's not like the ultimate thing uh, or the ultimate show preparation here. <laughs> Let's move on. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Um, today, it, the yeah, I'm going to skip on to the manufacturer. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm discombobulated. No, I'm not going there. See, okay. No, I want to be done. I want to be done with this webcast. <clears throat> so, before I go in such a rush, and I, I do have to apologize how I tried to quickly go through today, but press for time. Um, got, got to get these things out, manufactured, housing related. It is a huge week, probably the hugest week for manufactured housing. There's lots of big events going on, lots of big things happening. And so I want to address those really fast before I go. <coughs> I feel horrible today. If the show was bad, it's because I don't feel good today. <laughs> there, there's my throwing out my excuses. And I still got to find a way to get through the rest of this day. Um, okay, so the MHI, the National Congress and Expo, is happening right now in Las Vegas. I hope everybody's having fun. I really wish I was there. Enjoy it. Uh, it's probably closed uh, for any more registration, but uh, just wishing everybody at the Congress and Expo um, good fortune. Tomorrow, the Great Southwest Home Show will start. So for more information about the Great Southwest Home Show in Tulsa, Oklahoma, go to mhao.org, okay, Oklahoma uh, Manufactured Housing Association. Now Friday, the next day, Home Expo 2011 in York, Pennsylvania. For more information about that, pmha.org. That's it. Manufactured housing people and everybody else. I love you. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great, have a great one, and we'll see you tomorrow right here, 9 a.m. for the big webcast. Thank you.